When the mailbag shelf gets this deep, it's time for another video. Alrighty, well, these are the electronics components that I use in my projects, and I like sharing these videos with you guys, so let's get into it. First up, we have a new Hako or Heiko, depending on where you are or what you subscribe to for the name, but this is the FX951. This is most definitely a clone of the Hako iron, and we're going to give it a complete go just because this thing is so reasonably priced compared to some of the other options out there. I had to test the clone for you guys and see how this goes. So this is the entire kit as it came. We'll see how it goes. Simple solder sucker. Nothing to it. Nothing crazy. This one, honestly, mm, I can already say I'm not going to be adding this to my store anytime soon. This is, um, well, quite simply, if you're not familiar with this, this is what you use to suck out solder from through-hole components or, or just about anything. Normally, they're uh, pretty good build quality. This one is not. This is super, super flimsy plastic. Yeah, it does... Well, here, let's see. Does it seal? Sure enough. Okay, well, the vacuum works. I'm not going to be adding this to the store anytime soon. I can just tell. Mm, not the best. This is a vacuum handling tool. So this is a little vacuum device for working with SMD components. Now with any luck, this should, the nozzles or, or ends, if you will, should fit on the end of it. And then you should be able to use this as a picker upper tool. I don't know how well it's gonna work. I think what I'll do is I'll end up uh, making one out of a aquarium pump, but basically we can pick up our SMD components and actually that, actually seems to work pretty reasonable. We can pick up our components and then set them down on our solder paste on our SMD board, but we'll see this in an upcoming video and just see how it works. These things don't cost much on eBay. Uh, I might add it to the store if it works out well. We got a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of buzzers. So these are think they might be a passive buzzer looks like we have a resistor and a transistor on board for we have vcc ground and signal so this looks like we're going to be able to pulse with modulate a signal into this buzzer and be able to make it warble at whatever tone we want being that it comes on the breakout is big um, kind of annoyingly big they could have done a lot smaller but it will work as a standalone that you don't have to mess around with your current limiting resistor and the driver transistor in any circuit. You can just plug it and play. And then it comes with the jumpers. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Why not? Next up out of the box, we got a whole bunch of switches. These are really handy in just about any Arduino project or electronics project. These are what's known as a tactile switch. Uh, really small, little tiny. They are breadboard friendly. Any circuit that I build with a, a PCB and a dedicated circuit, it's good to include uh, some tactile switches and just use them even on the unused I.O. of your microcontroller. They might come in handy someday when you want to expand the circuit and add some user input. And here's a hundred of them, cost virtually nothing, and these are already on my store. Linked below. Random part of the day. Look at this. This is a prism. I haven't seen one of these since high school or maybe even public school. I actually have no idea what we're going to do with this. It was a very much impulse buy. If you guys have ever done anything with prisms in projects or <laughs> or even some experiments and play around with the kids or whatever, let me know down in the comments below. I, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but it's quite a large one. This is a, a significant length. Next up, a whole bunch of these. We got, oh yes, yes, yes. 
I have been waiting for these. These should be very handy. These are breadboard connections. Do I have one open? No, nope, I don't. Let's get one of these out. These are a breadboard power supply. So these will plug right in on the end of our breadboard. Let me go find one. So if you have a simple breadboard project like this, we can plug right onto the power rails, in theory, if it works, and sure enough it does. And then we can hook on with USB power supply or our barrel jack, and we can have a five volt rail and a 3.3 volt rail on our breadboard with power switch. Very, very cool. I have never had these before. I couldn't believe that I've never used them before. I should have been using them years ago. All kinds of, all kinds of really handy uses. Just having the 3.3 volt rail to plug in with USB, really, really handy if you're working with an ESP8266 project or anything else that requires a 3.3 volt power supply. So yeah, it's built right in, why not? Really cool, nice and simple. Oh yeah, Good. we're gonna have lots of these come in. I ordered tons of surface mount components. These look like uh, resistors and what package they are looks to be 0805, just going by eyeballs. Again, I've ordered so many of them, I've lost track, but I was running a little low on the 0805 components. And there may even be capacitors in here. These are just assortments that you pick up on eBay. They're just sliced off the reels and sold as an assortment to hobbyists because we don't need an entire reel of SMD components when we're just building one off. So they are very reasonably priced. Next up, a screw assortment, tiny, tiny screws. These are one mil by 3.6, four mil, or 1.4 by 3.0, a whole assortment of machine screws and nuts. Handy thing, I've never had them this small in an assortment and I think it'll come in really handy in some projects, but we'll see, we'll give it a go. Next up, some BNC style. Now, these are a dummy load. These are a 50 ohm dummy load. Pretty handy for some things with the scope. Uh, I've run into only a couple of situations where I needed one and didn't have one. I was able to whip something up, but now with the T connectors that I have for the BNC, I can just T these in if I do need the, the 50 ohm load. So yeah, handy. Not very often that I'm gonna need them, but once in a while. Another vacuum pickup tool for SMD components. This is much similar to the one we just looked at. It has some kind of rubber feet for it and a little vacuum pen. We're gonna give it a try on the 0805 and 0603 components, see how it works. I have no idea how well it's gonna to work, to be honest, but uh, they market it as a vacuum sucking pen. Again, uh, it was just an eBay special. You guys can check out my, my video. I'll link it down below how I buy this stuff on eBay. I'm not going to link stuff like this. I'm not going to add it to my store until I've truly used it for a while. And I'm certainly not going to add it to my Amazon page, which is also linked below where I have my recommended gear again, till I use it for a long time. So we'll try it. I don't hold out a lot of hope, but it's only a couple of bucks. So that's the model number you can find it under. Next up, more soldering handy stuff. These are a bunch of tips for flux syringes or for uh, solder paste dispensing. I had quite a few for my flux syringes, but I didn't have one, a good one, a small one for my solder paste syringe. So again, a couple of bucks and you got a huge assortment of all the different uh, needle ends to go on a syringe. Handy dandy. I'm gonna split this right here. Guys, good luck in all your electronics ventures. Click a thumbs up down below if you like these mailbags. I have tons more coming to you as you saw on the shelf. Let's pick this up again next week. Have a great weekend. Cheers.